moje děti. Já vás tady vítám na našem školním divadle. Víte, co na vás dneska čeká? Kapulka! Kapulka, my jsme na pohled o červené kapulce. Jo! Všichni znají. Jo! Tak, my jsme si pro vás se školákama nejlepší připravili dvě hry. Dvakrát vám ukážeme červenou kapulku, ale jednou bude česky a jednou ji uvidíte v angličtině. Těšíte se? Jo! Já jsem připravený, můžu začít. Babičce není dobře, připravila jsem to jen košik s ovocem, dotem a sklenici vědu. Doneseš jí ho? Ano, maminko. Buček opatrná, v lese si nehraje a nechod daleko od cesty. Babička na tebe čeká. Ano, maminko. Červená karkulka vzala košíček a vydala se na cestu. Do krátké chvíli se odpustila v lese, sotva už to pár kroků. V lesní pěšině spoza stromu vyskočil.
of the forest. The little girl always wore a red, red cloak and hood that grandmother had made for her. That's why everyone, even her dad, called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood dad said to her, Grandma is not feeling well. I picked a basket with food, paste, and honey. We will take it for her. Yes, father. Be careful going full foot and don't play around along the way. Grandma yes. is waiting for you. Little Red Riding Hood took the basket and was on her way to Grandmother's house. Little Red Riding Hood had gone but a short way into the forest when a great wolf stepped out from behind a tree. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you going on this fine day? I'm going to see the mother on the other side of the forest. She's feeling, she's ill. And I'm bringing her food, cakes, and honey. Why not bring her some wild flowers as well? There are so many to pick from here in the forest. I can stop. Father said I can not, I must not play around the way. Picking flowers is not playing around. Besides, a bunch of pretty flowers will cheer your grandmother up and make her feel better. Perhaps more. Little Red Riding Hood put down her basket and began to pick wildflowers. Meanwhile, the wolf slipped, slipped away and stepped to the other side of the forest. When he came to Grandmother's cottage, he crept up to the door and knocked. Who is there? Sat down and to feast. 